stay tuned I'm gonna upload a video uh, on wireless yeah wireless switching wireless control switch for uh, some off-road lights I'm putting on the Bronco so you might be interested in that I'm just making this stuff up as I go I found some products I think I can adapt them for my use so um stay tuned and uh you know don't forget to subscribe here i'm trying to build this channel up and uh shit i ought to have 10,000 subscribers by now but i only got uh, six six thousand six point eight thousand is that all and it's all so if you find it videos interesting you know anything about four wheeling and modifications i kind of done it all to this truck and on a tacoma and my super duty and my bronco so stay tuned for stuff like that so what i'm doing on the bronco right now is i'm wiring the off-road lights every light on the roof will be controlled by a key fob remote so this way there's no manual switches inside the cab. Everything will be on your little... Because that just saves a lot of wiring. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do a little different than I've done in other trucks, like in this truck. This truck, I've added switches right there. See that? Yeah. And I, got, I put extras for spares because I wanted to add some uh, backup lights and stuff like that. But all that takes a lot of work wiring you got to get a wire from them switches to your lights okay yeah and relays and all that i found some relays that are wireless so stay tuned we'll see what that looks like all right let's see how well i can do this but i'm on top of the bronco right now because i need to plan my wiring for the uh, lights here on the roof so the majority of everything on these racks here, see? <laughs> Shut up. That's who I need this neighbor's dog barking at me. It's pre-wired. Everything, all these lights up here, run into this box here. Ammo box. So I got my fuses, my relays, my power, yeah my power in um what i need is my controls right i need a control wire to power each one of these relays every time i want to turn the lights on so uh the idea is to go wireless okay so the wireless the wireless thing i found is a little box about that big okay I tested it out last night and uh, I think I figured it out, got it to work. I'll show you a video of that, but um, it's not waterproof or weatherproof. It doesn't come in a weatherproof box. So um, this morning I was at Home Depot and I found this box supposed to be weatherproof. It comes with a cover and all that stuff, typical electrical stuff. So uh, I got to see how I'm going to mount it. The uh, the circuit board or the wireless controller will fit just right in there. And I think I'm going to have to epoxy it in there because there's no way to screw it down to anything. So I think I just might epoxy it in, but first I need to wire it and come up with some kind of plan to mount this. Now I mounted it on the outside of this box because it's uh, it's radio. Oh look at those almost line up, almost line up. But yeah, it's a radio transmitter basically, and you don't want to put radio transmitter inside of a metal box. So it's going to go outside the box in this plastic one. And then I got to run the wires in, so I'll have to do one hole in. I think that's about it. Well, four mounting holes and one hole in. So I got this little elbow thingy here. And uh, yeah, so. I'll just lay this out make sure it's gonna work before I before I go too crazy here but something like that got to make some adjustments but just to get the wires inside so I'll have four wires going to each relay 
So those are for the HIDs there, and these are for the backup lights and the what's the other light called? The yellow lights, amber lights. That's it. I need a ground. There's a ground bar right here. I need uh, power. So there's my power. I'll pick another fuse. I got some spare um, circuits there. So I add one more circuit. That'll power the controller. And this has been worked out pretty good. It's sealed. Doesn't get water in there. This is my ground coming out. For a chassis ground, this is going to have to go to the top somehow. Ground onto the middle of the truck, and then I need um, I need to run the four gauge up through the top, and that I got to think about because I want to run it a little better than I did in the than I did on that Bronco over there. So yeah, I guess I'll have this will have to go over here on the side. So it could go on the top. Now you don't want the top. So go on the side. I think that's heavy duty enough. I got plugs and everything for this to plug off the ends. I gotta pre-wire it. And then I'll glue it on there with the epoxy. Fit this up. And then I'll just have to mount it. Drill a hole for the 90 for the 90 degree there fit the wires through and then locate my holes for mounting the box I got some long screws hopefully they're long enough it's supposed to be one inch ah, you know what happens when you you measure things too close sometimes you mess up but that's the idea I'm gonna rig this up now, pre-wire it, leave some long wires so I can have room to play with. I've done that before, <laughs> pre-wire stuff. Oops, I didn't make the wires long enough. Hey, when that happens. And I only, only got a couple hours out here in the light anyway, so I'll get this rigged up and show you how it looks. So stay tuned, I'll uh, upload the other video kind of explaining some of this stuff. <laughs> Can't play that too long, I'll get a... Uh... I have issues, yeah. So guys, I am uh, studying this uh, wireless remote controller here, so... I had to find me a light, found me a light. I didn't want anything pulling a lot of current. I just need a test light, right? <sighs> Check my voltage, we got a power supply there. It's putting out 14 uh, something volts. Some jumper wires and uh, and uh, yeah, this is the instructions that come with this wireless remote controller, okay? Um, kind of confusing but uh, that's why I'm testing it out now and trying to figure it out uh, you got to program the key fob here the fob uh, okay so you got four circuits A B C D it's not labeled on here you know you got four relays there and uh, you've got uh, Three connections for each relay. You got ABC, ABC, ABC. It doesn't tell you a whole lot on this. No, I don't think it's going to focus to that, but. Oh. Yeah, it's like, okay, wait, I see a load, I see a negative. A goes to the load, that's what it's circled with X. And then, um, where is this thing focusing? And, uh,. And it's got that red line going to the 12 volt. See, it says 12 volt positive, 12 volt negative. So I didn't quite understand that. But I finally figured out you got to run a 12 volt circuit. You got to run 12 volt to the unit itself. Okay. How's that? Not, not the greatest light. Let's see if I got some better light here. 
Oh yeah, quit squinting, right? So yeah, you gotta run 12 volt to the unit itself, and then you gotta run a 12 volt in to each individual relay, okay? So that's what B is. B will switch either normally open, normally close. So you got A and B, so it'll be you can go either way, A or B. And there's three different settings for that. You can do momentary, um, and there's a couple other ones. Yeah, you can do a momentary, so it's just, you know what a momentary is? You know, like a doorbell, ding dong, or locking is what I got it set at right now. But I figured uh, since the key fob is A, B, C, D, these would go correspond A, B, C, D, reading left to right, right? No, it's the opposite. <laughs> but it still works. I had to test that out a couple of times. I go, hey, gee, maybe I got a bad light bulb in my light there. But no, it's uh So this is D. All right, yeah. Okay, so I just got to remember that. That the, the sequence there is different. You got A, B, C. So I guess you got a program... Let's see. You gotta program this for some reason. Because I did A and nothing happened. It turned out A is on this side. So it's got a tiny little button on there. You gotta press. That shuts the light off. And then you gotta press one of these and then the light flashes three times and you're ready to go. So I did that for a and D. I haven't done C and B, so that'd be C and B in the middle. I assume. I'll do some more testing on it, but that's what it is. What it is, a little curly wire there, that's the antenna. Um, let's see. The only issue I see is that this is going to be on all the time. The board will be on. If you know what I mean. Powered. And these little tiny relays, I don't know just exactly what they're rated. Well, there is a rating on them of uh, 20 amps, but... Oh, you stupid light. That's why I don't leave that light on. I think it needs a new... Yeah. It needs a new ballast or something. But yeah, I think uh, what I'm going to do is just run a hot, all I need is a hot lead on this into my existing relays that'll wired a little sturdier than this. This might not be able to handle, the relay might be able to handle the that current, but I don't know about the circuitry on the board handling uh, 20 amps. That's all. So this is just, we'll control my relays. Yeah, kind of cool. I got another one. Yeah, I got another one that's, that's totally different. Hmm. But this will handle four circuits perfect for the top of the Bronco. I don't have to run all those wires up there, right? Heck, see, I think the other unit I'll use on my, my truck. So you just put this on your key ring. It actually comes with two of them. I guess you keep one on the truck and one in your, on your key ring. You're out on the trail there and it's getting dark. Hey, turn the lights on. There you go. Or like on my Colorado. I got those floodlights on the outside, on the sides. Perfect. Or maybe rig them up to the LED. I could do the LEDs inside the uh, inside the shell. Really doesn't need it though. I like that. Though. Hmm. So that's that one. Let me show you the other one. Okay. So that is a wireless remote controller. Okay. I saw another one out there. I go, man, gee, maybe I ought to try that one. So let's try that one. They're really inexpensive, under 20 bucks. Okay. This one. Okay, well, if you see this one here, 
has the wireless receiver and everything and the four relays all in one little box. It comes in a box, but it's not water resistant, so I gotta buy a, I'm gonna put this in a waterproof box. But this other one I got from this company here comes with each relay wireless. How cool is that? So you can pretty much put these anywhere. Like that'll go on the roof of the Bronco because that's where all the lights are, okay, and my, my relays, but this these you can put anywhere. Like I got I got lights on the bumper, right? So this can go on the bumper. This can go somewhere in the engine compartment. It's gonna need a a waterproof housing, but yeah. And this one can go on the roof for my other lights. Or actually it can go, uh, yeah, I'd probably have to go on the roof. I was gonna say inside the shell, but in the shell it's aluminum. It might interfere with the radio signal. But yeah, you got four of these. So I can put one for the rooftop lights, the side lights, and then in the, the front. Or it, just use your imagination, because I already got the lights all wired already, but I was just thinking, well, hmm, I'm on the trail. I'm outside of the car. I might want to turn the lights on, right? The, the rooftop lights on at least. There's two circuits there. without having to climb in the truck. So, possibilities are pretty much endless. This is a four circuit, a four circuit, they got six circuits. This company here, I mean as many as you want. I mean they got one, looks like a the controller, well it comes with two key fobs similar to this, but for the bigger units they look like a remote control for your television, you know. <laughs> so, it, it's, the possibilities are endless and what I like about this brand here E Milo it comes with a real instruction book you know different languages and I read the English one already the English one makes sense 612 or 24 volt yeah, the English on the other one doesn't make a whole lot of sense on this one here. It's like written in broken English. Um, like, uh, what does it say that right here? Like right here, number six. The use of large capacity relay, comma, can control the electrical equipment and equipment. <laughs> what does that mean? Number seven, the use of wireless coding technology, comma, no direction, comma, no interference with each other, comma, windows, switches, security, and other industrial or lighting remote control areas. So, anyway, that's it. Now to install it, I got to find a waterproof uh, box for it. Run some wires, slim slam, right? Oh man, I gotta put this thing on charge. But, uh, so, <clears throat> this original wireless controller, this is the box it comes in, all right? It's not heavy duty, it's not waterproof. It does have little vents in it. This isn't going to work because it's going to be exposed up on the roof, right? I went to Home Depot the other day and I made this up right here. Okay. This is a water, waterproof, water resistant box, weatherproof. So, uh, yeah, I had to rig something up. I got the electronics mounted inside. I epoxied it down and then I put some silicone around the edges in there to keep it just in case. Uh, give it a little cushion in there in case it does move around. Uh, only because the bottom of this box isn't flat. It's not like I could just, you know, secure it properly on a flat surface. So it's secured with a little epoxy and then I siliconed it around the edges there to keep it secured even better. 
It's got the little antenna there. That was coiled up on the boards. I just stretched it out a little bit. Set that in a little silicone to keep it from flopping around and ran my wires. I think my wires are all shut. Now it should have been red, but I went to Ace Hardware at the last minute and that's all I had in 18 gauge. Without buying, a, you know, 100 feet. I don't need 100 feet. So I got black and white. That's all I need. That's all I need, really. It's got two leads, positive and negative, to the main board. And then for each each relay, you're going to need power. So it's got a power in, a power out. Two wires per relay. So far, I think it'll work. So now i got to drill some holes. So what I'm going to do is uh, lay this out, make sure everything's going to work before I drill the holes in the box. That's the ammo box right there. I'm just going to mount it on the side here. Oh, hey out there guys, it's Sunday and uh, I'm in the process of wiring up the lights on the Bronco and I got as far as mounting the controller up on the rack and uh, that took a while. I, laying the thing out and everything, climbing up and down on the roof of the Bronco, you know. <clears throat> I need this, I need that. Oh, I forgot that. Climb back down again, you know. Don't want to fall doing this stuff, right? Um, but uh, that's the remote controller. It's a wireless receiver with four relays on it so that's what I'm putting on the Bronco so I got it all figured out I got laid out I got it installed but I'm missing some things for the wiring and I I drove all over up to Ace Hardware um, Home Depot Lowe's and I just need these little um, like bus bars here about that big Guess I'm going to have to order them because I can't find any. I'm basically, I need to loop the four relays together. Power. 12 volts go to each of them, right? So, But each relay has its own wire. So, one, two, three, four, you put them on a strip and then run a wire for that down to your power supply. So, just combines all the two. Now, you can just twist them all together, you know, but I'm trying to make it look nice. So anyway, uh, yeah, driving crazy going all over the place. Where did I get those ones I used on my truck? I must have ordered them on Amazon or something. So I'll show you what I did today. I basically just got the box mounted. Um, I still got to run the 12 volt supply voltage back to the battery. So that that's another that's another project there. Took me a few hours today. I just. And you know what? Climbing up and down on top of the Bronco there, I go, geez. Hmm. Yeah, at one time I thought those rooftop tents was a great idea, but then when you figure out how high you are up there, I don't know. It's kind of like an accident waiting to happen, if you ask me. All you need to do is slip on a wet, a wet rung on one of those ladders on the, in the morning, whoops, or in the middle of the night. Whoops, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I don't feel like climbing up and down things in the middle of the night, right? 